Hello, it's been a while since we put out a video and I thought we should update you on a few things. There's a short version for those just wanting the basics, then a slightly longer version with more detail. So, question one. Why haven't you put out a new episode in over two years? Life got in the way. Question two. Is spooky history coming back? Yes. Question three. Why did you say yes? Like that. Well, because we are going to be making content and videos again, and many of them will be like the older spooky history videos, may even be titled that. But we're expanding the type of content we put out. It'll almost all be of a spooky nature, and most of it the same type of videos we used to do, but we'll also be expanding into more casual videos, more structured documentaries, and also some other topics that I'm interested in and want to talk about. There will be a slight rebrand happening, but nothing major. I'll go into full detail in the longer section. Question 4. When is the next episode going to be available? Tomorrow. So hopefully that gives you an update and we look forward to seeing you again soon. And please, do have nightmares. Now, the longer version. So, uh, you may notice in this screenshot from the next episode I'm wearing makeup. Why the makeup? For the past year or so, I've been using makeup as part of my on-stage character for my seance magic shows, and it's become something that just fits with what I'm doing. It's something I quite like, and so I'm going to probably keep it around, at least for the more traditional to camera pieces like Spooky History, at least going forward. Why has it been two years since an episode? Okay, so when Covid hit, the world found itself going home. It was told to stay there, with a few exceptions. It left a lot of people looking for something to do. I work in the arts, specifically with horror entertainment. I'm a magician, mostly, doing seance-inspired magic. I also chair and do design work for the Edinburgh Horror Festival, as well as the occasional graphic design and video editing gig, on top of being a full-time carer. So I had a pretty full schedule that suddenly came to an abrupt end, and I needed to find a way to occupy my mind. I needed constant engagement and something to keep me occupied. That's where Spooky History came from. The plan was a video a week, and for a while that was quite manageable. But then the world started opening back up. I was getting some in-person work, nothing major, but enough that I suddenly had extra things to do. And I have chronic ill health myself, and it's been getting worse. I was finding it just too hard to get back up to speed again, and suddenly my long-awaited return to normality wasn't panning out quite as I'd hoped. So things start to fall by the wayside. I could do a live gig and some design work a week, or I could do spooky history. I loved doing spooky history, but it just well, wasn't paying the bills. So it started to fall away, eventually stopping with a live stream on March the 31st, 2022. I didn't know that would be the last one. My original plan was to just take a few weeks away and then get back onto it, but those few weeks became a few months, then a year, and eventually I just wasn't doing spooky history anymore. When I began Spooky History, I also started other channels. I had a channel for my magic, I had a channel for more general horror and spooky content for vlogs. There were suddenly a lot of channels and I couldn't do any of them. Even my live in-person work, I was struggling to do as much as I could as my health had seriously deteriorated. Basically, health and work all got in the way and Spooky History came to an end. Over the past few months, I've seen the channel continue to grow its subscriber base, and Oliver, another of our writers, suggested it was worth giving a second go at. There were, however, some issues. Because of how my health and work balance is, I couldn't keep multiple channels, and it wasn't practical to return to such an intense workload with spooky history. To do a weekly episode takes a long time. In fact, if you break it down, making a weekly episode amounts to about three months' worth of work in a year. That's 52 episodes over the course of those three months. A quarter of a year for weekly episodes. That's a hell of a lot of time. When it was locked down, there wasn't an issue, but post-lockdown, it suddenly became a lot more than was possible. Is spooky history coming back? It is, but this is where there needs to be more of an explanation. I can only really maintain one channel, and there are a lot of things that, health and time willing, I want to do and put out there. I want to continue making the traditional spooky history, me, the camera, the auto cue, and a background. Previously I used a green screen, but I quite like this place. Uh, it's part of Edinburgh's spooky underground vaults. It seems a perfectly suitable location for spooky history. So there will still be episodes shot here, and uploaded, and called spooky history, but I want to do other things as well. Much of it will be of a similar theme. I want to make more traditional spooky themed documentary output, uh, visiting locations and telling stories. 
I also need to host my magic clips somewhere, my seance magic shows, so that's spooky too. More general spooky or horror related content, vlogs, do people still say vlogs? Uh, maybe some interviews. Basically I want to expand the type of spooky content that's included here and that I can work on different things depending on how my health and time is. But also I want to do content on more general gothic or weird history, the golden age of magic and that kind of thing. Stuff that isn't directly spooky but is of a similar theme I guess. And the other content I want to do is mm, probably more of a departure. I do the occasional geek and nerdy themed work and used to host a podcast with a friend called Ash and Des Remember. It was a nostalgic look at growing up in the 80s and 90s so I will occasionally be doing stuff like that but it, it won't be very frequent really. It'll be 90% spooky, 90% of the time. But the thing I realised was if I wanted to host and present videos and content I needed to just have one channel, not several as they never get proper attention so they die and I don't want that to happen. So if you can tolerate the occasional geeky diversion I'm sure you'll still enjoy what we put out. Now I will maintain one other channel but that's a very different thing. Basically this channel, currently Spooky History, will be for anything I am presenting. Anytime I'm in front of the camera or microphone I'll be here. And mostly spooky, I said. How often will we be posting content on this channel? I'm not sure. It likely won't be weekly but it won't be two years either. If I'm just producing or directing, even if spooky, then it'll go on the Noisy Ghost channel, which you might want to give a like to as well because I, I think there will be stuff on that channel that might interest you as well. So some plays will go up there, some non-spooky and some spooky, some not hosted by me documentaries and a few other things. So join us tomorrow for our newest video, the A to Z of Ghosts. Thanks for watching and please do have nightmares. Goodbye.